today I'm gonna to start my serious search for a van. I'm so excited for this. It's something that I've wanted to do for many, many years. And I feel like finally now is the time for various different reasons, mainly financial. I've been squirreling away little bits of money here and there every month for like say a number of years. And I feel like I've got maybe enough it would always be nice to have more, but I've got maybe enough to get something pretty decent. I've got about 6,700-ish. Obviously, depending on how long this takes me, it'll increase a little bit. But uh, yeah, that's what I've got at the moment. I've done a ton of research uh, into potentially what I may want. Obviously, that isn't a very big amount of money at all. For, for a van and so I was thinking about whether I wanted to get a van and convert it myself or whether I wanted a completed converted van which would be fantastic but it would also be nice to convert it myself but I think now maybe isn't the time for that. I have done a ton of research into maybe what I would want. I've watched so many like YouTube videos of like van tours and things and it would be fantastic to have like I don't know 30 grand or something to throw on one of these wonderful bespoke uh, conversions but that just isn't my situation I haven't got that and so what I kind of figured was there was basically two options well maybe three now I've looked into it a little bit more three options of an already converted van which obviously can be pretty expensive a van that hasn't been converted at all and I convert it myself or see if I can get other people to do it for me or since I started looking I realized that there's quite a few sort of half done ones that maybe they've insulated them and padded them a bit or done some electrical work but they just decided it wasn't for them or whatever and so there is that market as well and after a lot of thinking about it and like researching and looking at kind of what's available definitely I would love to do a van conversion in the future but I just think for me right now I haven't, you know, I haven't got, I've got two young children that I'm taking care of, I've got Stephen, my own son, and life's just generally quite busy, and I just don't think that I will be able to fit that in, and, you know, I haven't got any carpentry skills, or electrical skills, or plumbing skills, or anything, that can all be kind of figured out online or whatever and so I'm not too intimidated about it actually I am very intimidated about it but I wouldn't be too but like, I'm quite happy to do that but I just think maybe it's not the time right now to do a conversion myself so I'm leaning towards a already converted one if possible if sort of budget allows places I'm looking so I'm going on eBay, Gumtree, Autotrader well, there doesn't seem to be many on Autotrader to be honest um a website called Quirky Campus. That's about the only places I've found right now. So yeah, I'm gonna spend the next few days or weeks, months, however long it takes trying to find a van. Last night I found a van. I was on eBay, I was just lying in bed, scrolling, and found found one on eBay, a little bit over budget, it's 8,000, and they had a link to a YouTube video where they gave it like a tour of it and everything and so I watched that. Messaged them about it on YouTube and then th th I spoke to them more this morning on WhatsApp about various different things. It's a fantastic build. They did it in lockdown. I really like it. There's, there's a little, a few little things with it. Like I want to have to get from the van into the cab. It doesn't have that. It does have like a little slit, but it, no, I wouldn't fit through it. Um, anyway, we've been going back and forth. Uh, I've been asking for a few more pictures and stuff about various different things. I got my questions together about what I wanted to ask them about. And uh, I love this van. It's been like a grand over budget but I can probably get it down a little bit. They've got a few people coming over the weekend to see it. Um, and so I've offered, I've gone up to 7.2 that I'll offer, which is really stretching the budget and we'll just sort of see what happens over the weekend, whether, we'll see, I really want it though. Hmm. So it is a couple of days later and the news, I'm gonna say the bad news, but it's not necessarily bad news, but the van has gone to someone else. Someone went over, went to see it over the weekend and they offered the full asking price of 8,000, so 
just not coming to me, which, you know, everything happens for a reason. I haven't really got eight grand to spend on a van. Like, I've, I've started looking again, and I'm like, you know, maybe I should have offered eight because I've seen what else is out there, but I haven't got that much particularly. Like, I, I can source that, like, I have got that money. I've got it saved in the places, but it wasn't particularly money that I wanted to put towards a van. I could have got it, but I don't want to spend eight grand on a van, so realistically, yeah, all good. Back to the drawing board, keep searching. So I'm actually this morning going to look at the first van that I've been to look at. I looked yesterday and there was two. I've decided definitely on like a, a low roof. I don't want a big thing that I originally wanted. I just said on like a low roof, a smaller thing. There was two that were really quite good. One of them was more like an off-grid thing. That It was more expensive, of course, and looked really good. And then the other one was is the one I'm going to go and see now. The one, the other one, I kind of preferred that, but when I went on this morning to have a little look, it had, it's come off, they've taken it off eBay, whether someone's phoned, they might offered them the full price or whatever that they were asking for, which was eight and a half grand, which was too much that I want to pay anyway. This one that I'm going to look at is, it's a Renault Traffic, and it is up for seven which i think is very overpriced because in terms of the conversion i don't think there's a huge lot there to be honest i'm not even sure if there is like a leisure battery or anything um i'm not sure i'm gonna go and look i figured it wasn't too far away i had to come into manchester anyway for something so i figured i would just come i've just messaged them now to see if it's all right for me to come and they haven't replied yet so i don't know here it is Okay, I'm a bit out of breath because we've just ran. <laughs> um, nice van, uh, nice guy as well actually. The only thing, I'm gonna have to have a little bit of a think about it. The only thing is about the fact that it doesn't have a leisure battery. Um, <coughs> I don't know, I'm gonna have to look into, I don't know that much about it, whether that's a huge deal for me right now. I don't know. It is a week since I went to view that van and my thoughts on it now are that it's just too basic. Whilst I kind of do want something, like I'm happy with something basic, I do at least want a leisure battery and I potentially could fit one, but I'm not gonna make an offer on it. I'm just looking again. Let me show you this one. It is beautiful. I'm not so keen on the color, although I mean it is whatever. It doesn't really matter that much. There's nine days, six hours left. I'm assuming it's gonna go for quite a lot because look at this. This is kind of perfect, to be honest. Oh, I love it. I think probably 140,000 miles. It's not, I think I'm gonna, like there's a long time left on that, but I am gonna watch that and probably bid on that, to be honest. It's up in Glasgow to collect, which is way away, but not the end of the world. It's easy on a train, to be honest to Glasgow so I think maybe I might might have a van I'm kind of like 95% sure I have a van but let me tell you um it's Tuesday today and the middle Ooh. of last week I saw this van on quirky campers the website uh, for a reasonable price it was like my limit really of what I was prepared to pay and it was a short wheelbase which is what I decided on that I wanted a smaller van um, and it was like done in like the wooden style as opposed to like the carpeted walls and things that is just not it's not I don't like it I don't want it um, and so I contacted the owner and organized to go down and see it this weekend which we did it was miles away it was like three hours drive away um, so we went down to see it and the owner was lovely. She was so nice. Um, and I decided like then and there that I really loved the van and kind of I wanted to put in an offer. But I just wanted to go away, check on like the insurance, how much the insurance would be and stuff. And yeah, just like double, like just think rather than just do it, jumping straight onto it and doing it. So I went away and then like that evening, I, um, I decided and I put in an offer, a little bit below asking. Yeah, five hundred pound below asking, and uh, she accepted. But she, we, which I understand, she wanted to kind of do like sort out the paperwork straight away and everything, which I couldn't do because it was just like it was too far away. 
um, the next time I can get down will be, I think, possibly Friday or even the weekend coming. Um, so she said she had, she's got one more person coming to see it. Well, she's got someone coming to see it today and she's got more lined up for next weekend. Um, and so she's sort of, I haven't paid a deposit on it or anything. What we've sort of said is, we'll see what this person says. If if this person wants to offer more than me and, you know, it's they take the van, um, we'll just sort of see what happens with this other person. If they don't offer or whatever, then I guess it's, it's mine and I can go and collect it on Friday. Okay, literally, just as I finished recording that, I got a text from her to say that the person, oh my goodness, I think... Does this mean the van's mine? The person that was coming today, let me, I haven't even read the message properly. Um, they've cancelled, the person that was coming this morning have cancelled. All the other viewings are for the weekend. Um, so she can, she's going to hold the van for me until Friday. <gasps> oh my goodness, I think I have a van. Today is the day. I'm so excited. I'm going to collect the van. I am more or less organised other than insurance. I'm going to sort that out now. We're going in a couple of hours. Very kindly, Lara is going to have the two little kids for me and then the plan is me and Stephen have got to get a taxi to the train station to get the train down to Milton Keynes, collect the van and then drive up back home. Oh, so excited for this. We're about to hop on is it further than this? Um, yeah, about to hop on the train down to Milton Keynes. Have you not? Mask. We're just pulling in to Milton Keynes. Sad. Oh, it's horrible. What the hell? And we've got it! We've got the van! I'm very nervous to drive. It's a, um, what's this? What is it called? Gears. It's a gear, what, what do you say? Man manual. It's a manual, not a automatic. And I've only driven an automatic for the last couple of years. What we're going to do is just get out of this train station and pull over somewhere. So I've been driving now for about like five minutes and I've quickly got used to the gears. Just got to head onto the motorway for the first time. I'm a little bit, n not nervous, but like I don't really like, it just takes a bit of getting used to, like not having, not being able to see through your back windows and not, I keep like looking up. Let me concentrate. But, um, yeah, I keep looking up to look at my mirror, which obviously there isn't one. Um, the plan, is. It's glorious up north by the way and down here it's horrible and rainy. I'm just kind of going slow and getting used to it. Like I said, I've just gone to the motorway for the first time. Taking our time, we're going to find some services because we haven't eaten since breakfast. Uh, and pull over and then when we get to the services maybe I'll give you a quick uh, a quick show of it. But oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I just love it so much already. Look at it! She hasn't got a name yet. Stephen's just figuring he found it. Yeah, and then there's a wire, see if that works. Let me give you a... And she fits in a parking spot as well. Oh, I love her so much. I'll just show you the back, quickly. <gass> ah! I'm so fluidly excited. We should put that back. <gasps> Wait, we've got our, oh, it's going dark. We have got our little snack. Well, kind of lunch. It's lunch at what time? Four o'clock, isn't it? I've been sitting at the back! Oh, this is nice. It would be nice if it was sunny. I'm going to turn this light on. First of all, the light over there. Ah. Oh. We're going to have our food! I bet you can't actually even sit up on this, can you? Oh. Stephen's too tall. <laughs> oh. oh, love it. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Oh, is that all right? <laughs> yeah, you see, for my height, it's kind of perfect for you. It's just that little bit. I made no mess with my first sandwich. <laughs> you made a complete mess with that one. We're going to hit more shower. Stop raining. Not just make it. Look, I can just stick my hand out. Mm -hmm. well, it opens right up. That's nice. Shame it's not big one, then we could time out. Mm. First meal in the van <laughs> completed. I'm so happy. I really am. Um, we've jumped back in the cab now and maybe when we get home, maybe, because we're going straight home, I would love so much just to not be going home and going out using the van tonight. But I might sleep in it. I said to Stephen I might sleep in it and he's like, why? <laughs> but um, I might sleep in it tonight, like just on the driveway. I'm not sure. <laughs> See how I feel when I get home. Um, but yeah, I'll show you it when we get home properly. You know when like you think about doing something for ages or whatever and then it's like you don't think you'll actually do it that's how i feel like i've thought about wanting a van or getting a van and then i, I thought it was maybe just gonna be one of those things that i talked about but never actually did anything about but i got one we've just arrived back home and i so desperately kind of want to sleep in here tonight i'm not sure if i will or not but i just want to show you quickly what she looks like she is small and wonderful and just what i wanted like i'm crouched down now i'm on my knees and you can see the space that i've got but that's what i wanted i didn't want i think i mentioned earlier on in the video that i was initially when i started looking i was looking at high tops and long wheelbases and everything but no for now i want this and i want to just see see how i like having a van i guess um but yeah it's a Vauxhall vivero 2018 and that is about all i know about her she has a solar panel on the roof and let me show you i'll get out quite simplistically done in terms of plumbing and electricity and everything but i'm happy with that so at the back here there's the bench that pulls out into whoop, a bed grab steven's jacket so that pulls out into a pretty good sized bed and the electrics the battery in that is underneath there and then we have a bit of storage here i've got like some gas and stuff that has just come with it a bit of storage kind of storage under there but there's the wheel is there so i mean i'll sort something out with that i feel like it's a good base and then i can like build on it and make it a bit more my own and put my own print on it and figure out like some good storage that i can have in there or something there is some storage up here with a light this is the only light that's in the back but that's fine and then over here is oh, the cooker and there is the water under here gray water and a spare a spare bottle and there's some more storage at the back over there that you can access through this little cupboard and here and then a little like space rocky thing up there and this is like the water which is very basic but i'm happy with that just one of these bottles with a tap on and a little sink which obviously does drain through into there and there she is and i love her Oh, there is also up on the roof this kind of solar shower thing it's just it's just a uh, not brown a black black piping with a tap on that will heat up in the sun obviously haven't tried that yet but when i do i will let you know how it goes i cannot believe that she's fine i can't believe that like, she's sat here on my driveway i really might sleep in it tonight now i'm in here Look, in terms of bed size, it's absolutely fine. Like, I don't quite fit along it, but that's fine. I can just sleep diagonally a bit. It's got a little skylight up there that can be opened. <sighs> Maybe I might sleep. I just love it. I can't wait 
to go on some adventures in her. It will be a while because I still have the children with me. I have to wait until they have gone. Um, although actually I could probably, if Lara or someone else would have them, it would be, have to be Lara really, would have them overnight. I probably could get away somewhere local for, for one nighter um, if she would have them for me. That would be nice. But yeah, this is my van. I'm so, just so chuffed. I just can't wipe the smile off my face. I'm just, oh, I love it. I can't wait. Like I said, I can't wait to get out and have some adventures in a, I need to think of a name. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. And hopefully we'll get out and do some van adventures soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>